50.8 seconds remaining in the game. East Tennessee State leads it 81-75, and they'll inbound the ball. And that's what they, they call face guarding, and that means keeping somebody all over, and that was a nice little play where you throw the ball to the man out of bounds and you can get it back to him while he's inbound. And the foul on Niblett will send him to the line. things say that should East Tennessee State defeat Arizona it would be the seventh year in a row that a 14 seed is knocked off a three seed in the first round of the tournament well Arizona being the three seed is clearly having this problem because Matt Osick has just fouled out of the game so you know they've, they've really got to stretch to get some people to get into the game to try to be able to get some pass and now ball handling is, is of a premium with them ETSU trying to advance to a date with Michigan on Sunday. Tulane will meet Oklahoma State in the other game. I thought when the pairings came out on Sunday, last Sunday, Quinn, that the Southeast Regional was the toughest of the bunch. Well, I think, you know, the games that we had today have proven that as a rule when you get the kind of play that Tulane has had and East Tennessee State has had. But i got to tell you, uh, there was some question by some people as to whether or not Michigan was going to hold up to, to their seating, and they proved that they could do that. So we, it's pretty much come out the way that you, you thought it would anyway. You're, you're pretty good at these things. <laughs> TSU bench for Jason Niblett. Greg, I can guarantee you, they're sitting over there ready to explode should they even have this lead when the, 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 the 3-0 show up on the clock. Stoudemire for three. In the A3. That's the last and time they have used their final timeout with 36.3 to play. 6.3 to play in this game and with Arizona out of timeouts we'll see ETSU at the foul line though they'll be there quite a bit and they'll, what they'll try to do you see they have Arizona has no timeouts both teams are shooting two foul shots and you're guaranteed to see that Arizona is going to foul the only question is whether or not East Tennessee State is going to make those foul shots Marty Story will go to the line Marty Story, the 6'3 senior out of Greenville, Tennessee, has been there twice. He is two for two so far tonight. And Sean Rooks back into the lineup. Well, he's two for two, but he's normally about a 58% foul shooter. So he's somebody that they definitely want to foul to put some pressure on him. But as a, he's played well tonight. State, what you need to do is make sure you get somebody on start of mine, force him to what would be his right side, but have and, and no fouls. And that's what Alan LaForce is trying to do is make sure they get him up. See, it's hard to keep him going to his right because he, he, he will go to the left. The whistle blows before that shot is off, and the foul is called on the outside. Foul is on number three, Jason Niblett. Number one on Niblett, Stoudemire goes to the line. He has 13 points. I'll tell you what, for a freshman, he's played big. I mean, he's made the plays they've had to have made. If it hadn't been Womack, it's been Stoudemire that really has gotten things done for the Wildcats tonight. He can cut ETSU's lead to three. threw it away. Oh, there's a man wide open under the basket. He was standing under there. Story was. And Sean Rooks just fouled out of the game. But Dennis was doing the right thing. He was trying to protect the basketball, taking his chances that he could shoot it better than anybody else. But Story was wide open. And Sean Rooks with 17 points. 
And the tough part about it for Sean Rooks is that that's the, this is the last go round for him. And this is his last game. He hadn't been able to, couldn't pull it off. He, they had some shots at it. He was redshirted the year that they went in 88. So his opportunity to go to the final four is going to end right here. 17 points, 10 rebounds for Sean Rooks. And Ed Stokes will come into the lineup. Ed Stokes replacing Sean Rooks. Michigan gets the winner here. Tulane plays Oklahoma State in the other game here in the Omni on Sunday. That's this half of the Southeast region. I would say that's not the matchup you would have gotten a lot of the uh, quote experts to come up with. But that's what makes this tournament, to me, that's what makes it so much fun because I honestly believe that everybody's got a shot. Greg Dennis, his sixth point. in three tries at the free throw line tonight. And ETSU wants a timeout. Back for the final 22.8 seconds. East Tennessee State by five. Arizona has to go the length of the court. And the pressure's on just so they're not allowed to just roll the ball in and, and so time is not used up. Stoudemire for three. Short. Dennis with the rebound, and he'll go to the line again, where he is four out of four on the night. You know, early in the game, we had talked about getting Dennis into it, whether or not the, uh, the Buccaneers were going to get Dennis involved in the game. They really didn't have to do that very much for a couple of reasons. They were getting the three-point activity, go the barrage going from the perimeter. Sean Rooks kept himself in foul trouble, so much so that Dennis didn't have to be a factor. Calvin Talman was a factor. They got some play off the bench. I thought Jerry Pelfrey came in and made some good plays for them. Got some uh, rebounds, got some steals, made a big three-pointer for them. They got This is a team victory for East Tennessee State. This program, over the last four years, is 98 and 29. Pretty steady. But that, that's impressive. And, and Alan LaForce took it over after left Les Robinson left to go to North Carolina State for that head coaching job. So he'd been around the program for some time, knew the personnel. Mills, three-pointer, no. And there's the foul committed by Stokes. And with 7.2 remaining, East Tennessee State can put this one in the books. Well, yeah, I was going to say, about this time, the fans will start to let it settle in with 7.2 seconds to go. And the Buccaneers getting a well-deserved hand, not just from their fans, but by everyone in attendance here in the Omni. Jason Dibley on the line for East Tennessee State. And that man, Alan LaForce, is moving on to the next round. Greg, he did a good job because he had three players in foul trouble, too. Had to sit down Story, Dennis, and Calvert. Set all of them down. His uh, subs came in, were able to maintain the lead. But in order to make that decision, that takes some, some guts to make the decision to keep your three-star players out of the game, and he was able to do it and pull this victory up. We're about seven seconds away from a heck of a celebration. Arizona 